All right, weather modification history. That is just trouble. And I get to ban someone. Yes, this is great. So we get to ban them. Thank you for joining us. And we get to ban you. Weather modification history. Don't believe any of that junk you see. I would just leave them up there. You can just just uh, ignore them and uh, get them out of here. I've never had a... I haven't banned someone in a long time. I finally got to pull out the ban, the ban button. I mean, I try to keep everybody on, but when you get a weather modification, oh, that's just trouble. We do need rain. Hey, Casey, do they ever cloud seed in the area? No, uh, that is not a thing. Um, so uh, let's see, the account is called Weather Modification History. I see your questions. I'm not gonna be responding to them though. I've, I've had dealings with um, folks who asked the same questions before and they've been very rude and have um, you know, taken my responses the wrong way. If you do have legitimate questions, whoever's running that account right now, um, you can send me a private message and I'm happy to, to discuss with you there, but I'm not gonna get into an, an argument about um, well, your account says weather modification, so I'm not going to get into an argument here about weather modification. But if you'd like to have a discussion, I'm open to that. Just send me a private message and we can do it that way. A couple of showers left uh, near Ellicott City, but the, the flooding rains have ended. So now the, uh, clean, the recovery, first it's going to be obviously a rescue, then the recovery and cleanup after that, which obviously will take, given history, months, months to recover from an event like this. And and uh, what the long-term solution is, I, I don't know. Uh, why don't they overseed to reduce precipitation? You know, but we were talking about precipitable waters at above two inches today. So I, I don't know how you would overseed without causing flooding somewhere else. There's just too, there was just too much available moisture in the atmosphere. So how are you gonna reduce that? Unless you actually cool the planet and reduce the ability of the air to hold water, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how you could do that. You know, maybe, maybe you have a good idea. I, I don't. Yes, we could have some storms tomorrow. We have a 70% chance. Heather says no more rain. Call off the rainmakers. I hear you. Did they ever try to modify the storm? Yeah, that's what those chemtrails are for. They're up there just, you know, checkerboarding everything. <laughs> and, you know... Weagle's in control of all of that, and he's at home with his two joysticks, and he just controls all the weather that goes on. That's why he gets paid the big bucks. That's, you know, that's the way it is. Yes, they used to try it. I know that's what you guys always hedge your <laughs> arguments on, is Project Storm Fury. They did it all of like four or five times and it didn't really work out so they didn't waste any money on it anymore. It was a good idea worth trying, sure, but wasting more money on it now. Oh man. Okay, I don't know what this weather modification history. Is that something? Is that a thing? Cloud seeding? Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, I had a class, a applied climatology class where they did talk about cloud seeding. Um, and also, like, trying to, oh, this is so cool, I'm going to nerd out for a second. Okay. So, um, they were trying to, <laughs> like, get rid of her, like, trying to completely demolish this hurricane by, like, seeding the cloud or something. And it ended up, we don't know if it's related or not, but it ended up making this hurricane last for, like, a month, just spinning in circles in the Atlantic. So they're like, oh, this How do they cloud seed? What do you do? With planes. You and just you brought fly, fly planes through yeah. the clouds? I, I guess I wasn't paying close enough attention that She skipped that day. That day. But... Hey, Jonathan, is our weather modified? Weather modification history? You tell me. You tell me if our, if, if our weather is modified. <laughs> So weather modification history, how do we call in the rainmakers? What are you talking about? Who do I call? Who are the rainmakers? Is it like cloud seeding? You're talking about cloud seeding where they could come in and cloud seed and we get a lot of rain in here? Which by the way, I think they did down a lot in a couple years ago and it caused flash flooding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. We have to be very careful with, with cloud seeding, which I guess weather modification history is a form of weather modification. We seed hurricanes with carbon black dust? Far out, never heard of that theory. Let's see. 
Weather modification history, George, is our weather modified? Not here. There are some weather modification companies, I uh, know of one in, uh, actually I'd worked with years ago in North Dakota. Uh, they took part in cloud seeding projects out in West Texas. And what, what they would do uh, is that in areas that were stricken by drought, the local governments would get together and they would hire this company to fly up into small cumulonimbus clouds that weren't they, they weren't severe storms and what they would do is that they would release these these flares burn uh, silver iodide what was, was it was commonly used and the, the, the heat and chemical reaction would help to increase the rain output from those clouds. It's something that they started doing uh, decades ago. And so what you would have, instead of all the moisture staying with up in the cloud, basically what it does, it's like squeezing out the cloud and it rings out the moisture and then that rain would fall down to the ground. And they did that for the local farmers and ranchers when they were in a, a drought there in the 1990s. So that was, uh, they hired them for a couple of years and they deemed the project successful out there. That's a good question. Yeah, Michael says, what? That's crazy. Yeah, it's uh, I actually flew with them on one of the flights and it's uh, th the results were just about instantaneous whenever they would release the flight. It w wouldn't be a, it's not a, a threat to the environment, it's a natural product, but when they would burn off the flares within the, the storm, uh, it was, I mean, just within 30 seconds, the cloud would start producing more rain. It also does not cause severe weather because basically it's, they would, well, wouldn't want to touch severe storms anyway, but it just makes the, the rain all then downdraft base and actually help the, the storm to fall apart later. Weather modification, we have, uh, I'd like to check that out. So weather modification history, who, so thanks for, thanks for that info.